Our book for story time is called This and That, and it's written by Julie Sykes. She's the author, and Tanya Lynch is the illustrator. She does the pictures. And love the inside cover. This and that. And I believe this is made with collage, which is tearing paper out of paper and pasting it on paper. Down on the farm, Cat woke early. It was a special day and she had work to do. Horse was grazing in the field when Cat jumped onto the fence. And grazing means eating grass or whatever is out there. Could be dandelions, a whole variety of things. Clover. Hello, horse, said Cat. May I borrow your stable? Horse didn't use his stable in the summer because he liked to sleep outside. Yes, he neighed. What will you use it for? This and that heard the cat. Pig was rolling in his sty when cat leapt onto the wall. Hello, pig, said cat. May I have some of your straw? The farmer had just made pig's bed. The straw was clean and fresh, and there was plenty of it. Help yourself, grunted pig. What's it for? This and that, purred the cat. Goat was playing in the yard when cat hopped on the fence and meowed. Hello, goat, said cat. May I have some hay? Goat never ate hay in the summer when the grass was green and lush. If you want, he cried, whatever do you need it for? This and that, purred the cat. Sheep was dozing under a leafy tree when cat climbed onto a branch. Hello, sheep, said cat. May I have some of your soft wool? Sheep had a thick white coat and she had plenty to spare. Of course you may, she bleated. What are you going to do with it? This and that, purred the cat. Hen was scratching for grain when cat leapt on top of the hen house. Hello, hen, said cat. May I have a few of your feathers? Hen stopped scratching and cocked her head curiously. Ba -ba -ba -me, she clucked. But whatever for? This and that, purred the cat. Cow was drinking from the stream when cat joined her on the bank. Hello, cow, said cat. May I have a few hairs from your tail? Cow had a long tail with a hairy tip for swatting flies. Yes, she mooed. What are you going to do with them? This and that, heard the cat. Donkey was looking for thistles when cat jumped on his back. Hello, donkey, said cat. May I borrow that lovely purple ribbon from your hat? Donkey wore a hat to keep the sun out of his eyes. It was decorated with a bright purple ribbon around the brim. If you're careful with it, he said, what do you want it for? This and that, purred the cat. The animals thought cat was behaving strangely. What does she want with all our things? Clucked Hen. 
Perhaps she's moving house, mooed Cow. No, grunted Pig. Cats don't like moving. Let's follow her, brayed Donkey. The animals all hid in the yard, and when Cat appeared, they tiptoed after her. Cat went inside the stable and the animals followed silently behind. In one corner, they saw two little kittens. They were inside a nest made from hay and straw. It was lined with sheep's wool, hair from cow's tail, and feathers from hen was decorated with Donkey's pretty purple ribbon. What a lovely surprise, neighed horse. They're beautiful, said goat. So that's what you needed our things for, exclaimed sheep. Leaning over the huge nest, Donkey asked, What are they called? Cat sighed. I don't know. I can't decide. What do you think? The animals looked at each other. Then together they neighed and grunted, bleated and clucked, he hawed and mooed. We know. This and that. And that is the end of our story called This and That. Thanks for coming. See you soon. Bye-bye. There you go. Perfect.